defeated and was tortured. And he made his way to Detroit. And I was a kid, and I worked delivering, uh, I must have been about 13 or so, delivering for cleaners and dryers. And he pressed pants there. And there was something that was so beautiful about the way he did what he did. And I realized that he believed that one could dignify what one did, even if it was just pressing pants, if you did it right. If you added, if you put yourself into it and did the best you could. It was a crazy place because right across from him was a committed communist. And at first they argued. The communist sons would come around. They were in high school. One was named Lenin and the other was named Stalin. <laughs> uh, they were Bulgarian. And, uh, and boring, all three of them. <laughs> like, like committed communists. <laughs> always managed to be. <laughs> but my friend, who I made friends with, Cipriano, was one of my great teachers, I have to say. To Cipriano in the wind. Where did your words go? Cipriano, spoken to me 38 years ago in the back of peerless cleaners, where raised on a little wooden platform you bowed to the hissing press, and under the glaring bulb the stars across your shoulders, a gift of my country, leaned like old wood. Dignidad, you said into my boy's wide eyes, without is no riches. And Ferenti, the dapper Sicilian coat maker, laughed. What could a pants presser know of dignity? That was the winter of 41. It would take my brother off to war where you had come from. It would bring great snowfalls graying in the streets and the news of death racing through the halls of my school. I was growing. Soon I would be your height. And you tell me, eye to eye, someday the world is ours. Someday you will see. And your eyes burned in your fine white face until I thought you would burn. That was the winter of 41. Bataan would fall to the Japanese, and Sam Bogosian would make the long march with bayonet wounds in both legs. And somehow, in spite of burning acid, splashed across his chest and the acids of his own anger rising toward his heart, he would return to us and eat the stale bread of victory. Oh. Cipriano, do you remember what followed the worst snow? It rained all night, and in the dawn, the streets gleamed, and within a week, wild flocks leaped in the open fields. I told you our word for it, spring. And you said, spring, spring, it always come after. Soon the Germans rolled east into Russia, and my cousins died. I walked alone in the warm spring winds of evening and said, dignity. I said, your words, Cipriano, into the winds. I said, someday this will all be ours. Come back, Cipriano Mera. Step out of the wind and dressed in the robe of your pain. Tell me again that this world will be ours. Enter my dreams or my life, Cipriano. Come back out of the wind.